The Orsini family is an Italian noble family, it was one of the most influential princely families in medieval Italy and Renaissance Rome. Members of the Orsini include Popes Celestine III, Nicholas III, and Benedict XIII. 34 cardinals and numerous condottieri and other significant political and religious figures. Origins According to their family legend, the Orsini are descended from the Julio-Claudian family of ancient Rome. This is fanciful, as is the alleged connection to the German families of Anhalt, Baden and Bohemian Rosenberg sporting the same name. The Orsini also carried on a political feud with the Colonna family until it was stopped by Papal Bull in 1511. In 1571 the chiefs of both families married the nieces of Pope Sixtus V. The Orsini were related to the Barboni family existing in Rome in the 11th century. The first members always used the surname of Barboni Orsini. The first known family member is one Barbone, in the early 11th century, father of Pietro, in turn father of Giacinto Dei Barboni, who in 1191 became Pope as Celestine III, one of the first great nepotist popes. He made two of his nephews cardinals and allowed his cousin Giovanni Gattano to buy the fiefs of Vicavaro. Licenza, a Roccagiovine in Nettuno, which formed the nucleus of the future territorial power of the family. The Barboni surname was lost with his children, who were called Didomo Fili or Mercy. Two of them, Napoleon and Matteo Rosso the Great, considerably increased the prestige of the family. The former was the founder of the first Southern Line, which disappeared with Camillo Pardo in 1553. He obtained the city of Manopolo, later a countship, and was gonfalonier of the Papal States. Matteo Rosso, called the Great, was the effective Lord of Rome from 1241, when he defeated the imperial troops, to 1243, holding the title of senator. Two of his sons and Napoleon were also senators. Matteo ousted the traditional rivals, the Colonna, from Rome and extended the Orsini territories southwards up to Avellino and northwards to Pitigliano. During his life the family entered firmly in the Guelph party. He had some ten sons, which divided the fiefs after his deaths. Gentile originated the Pitigliano line and the second southern line, Ronaldo that of Monterotondo, Napoleon that of Bracciano and another Matteo Rosso that of Montegiordano, from the name of the district in Rome housing the family's fortress. The most distinguished of his sons was however Giovanni Gattano, elected Pope as Nicholas III, he named the nephew Bertoldo as Count of Romagna and had two nephews and a brother created cardinals. The second southern line, the rise of the Orsini did not stop after Nicholas' death. Bertoldo's son, Gentile II, was two times Senator of Rome, Podesta of Atebo and, from 1314, Grand Giustizier of the Kingdom of Naples. He married Clarice Ruffo, daughter of the Counts of Catanzaro, forming an alliance of the most powerful Calabrian dynasty. His son Romano, called Romanello, was Royal Vicar of Rome in 1326 and inherited the Countship of Soana through his marriage with Anastasia de Montfort, Countess of Nola. Romano's stance was markedly Guelph. After his death, his two sons divided his fiefs, forming the Pitigliano and the Second Southern Line. Roberto, Gentile I.I.'s grandson, married Sibylla del Baldo, daughter of the great Seneca of the Kingdom of Naples. Among his sons, Giacomo was created cardinal by Gregory XI in 1371, while Nicola obtained the counties of Ariano and Celano. The latter was also senator of Rome and enlarged the family territories in Lazio and Tuscany. His second son, Raimondello Orsini del Balzo, supported Charles III, QDE acute TAT in Naples against Queen Joan I. 
Under King Ladislaus he was among the few Neapolitan feudatories who were able to maintain their territorial power after the royal war against them. However, at his death in 1406 the southern Orsini fiefs were confiscated. Relationships with the royal family remained cold under Joan II, however, when Raimondello's son Gian Antonio sent his troops to help her against the usurpation attempt of James of Bourbon, he received in exchange the Principality of Taranto. The links with the court increased further under Sir Gianni Cariacolo, Joan's lover and great cynical. A younger brother of Gian Antonio married one of Sir Gianni's daughters. However, the Orsini changed side when Alfonso V of Aragon started his conquest of the Kingdom of Naples. Gian Antonio was awarded with the Duchy of Bari, the position of Great Conestable and an appanage of 100,000 Ducati. Gian Antonio remained faithful to Alfonso's heir, Ferdinand I, but was killed during a revolt of nobles. Having died without legitimate sons, much of his possessions were absorbed into the royal chamber, Pitagliano line. This line was initiated by Guido Orsini, second son of Romano, who inherited the county of Soana, on the western side of Lake Bolsena in southern Tuscany. He and his descendants ruled over the fiefs of Soana, Pitagliano and Nola. But in the early 15th century wars against the Republic of Siena and the Colonnese caused the loss of several territories. Bertoldo managed to keep only Pitagliano, while his grandson also was Count of Nola and fought as condottiere under the Duke of Milan and the Republic of Venice. Later he entered the service of Ferdinand I of Naples, but, not having taken part in the Baron's conspiracy, he was rewarded with the fiefs of Ascoli and Atrupalda. He took part in the Aragonese campaign in Tuscany and was killed at the siege of Atterbo. The most outstanding member of the Pitigliano line was Niccolo, one of the major condottiere of the time. His son Ludovico and his nephew Enrico participated in the Italian wars at the service of both France and Spain, often changing side with the typical ease of the Italian military leaders of the time. Two of Ludovico's daughters married relevant figures. Geronimo to Pier Luigi Farnese, illegitimate son of Pope Paul III and Marzia to Gian Giacomo Medici of Marignano, an important general of the Spanish army. The line started to decay after the loss of Nola by Ludovico, who was also forced to accept the Sienese suzerainty over Pitigliano. Under his son Giova Francesco the county entered the orbit of the Grand Duke of Tuscany. Later, the attempt of Alessandro to obtain the title of Monterotondo was thwarted by Pope Gregory XIII. His son Gian Antonio sold Pitigliano to Tuscany, in exchange for the Marquisate of Monte San Savigno. The line became extinct in 1640 with the death of Alessandro. Monterotondo Line This line was founded by Rinaldo, third son of Matteo Rosso the Great. His son, Napoleon, became a cardinal in 1288 and remained a prominent member of the Curia until his death at Avignon in 1342. This branch of the family was often involved in the baronial struggles of the late Middle Ages Rome, at least three members of the family being elected as senators, while others fought as condottieri. Francesco in 1370 took part to the War of Florence against the Visconti of Milan, also died fighting for the King of Naples in the Battle of Zagonara against the Milanese. His sons Giacomo and Lorenzo battled for the Papal States, Naples and Florence. One of Giacomo's daughters, Clarice became Lorenzo de Medici's wife. Franciotto Orsini was created cardinal by Leo X in 1517. The most important member of the Monterotondo Orsinis was Giovanni Battista Orsini, who became cardinal under Sixtus IV. 
He was probably among the promoters of the failed plot against Cesare Borgia in 1502. Being assassinated on February 22 of 1503 is retaliation. Together with other members of the family, Giulio survived captivity under Cesare, and Paolo and Francesco IV, Duke of Gravina, were strangled to death on 18 January 1503. The line decayed from the late 16th century, when several members were assassinated or lost their lands for various reasons. Its last representatives Enrico and Francesco sold Monterotondo to the Barberini in 1641. Bracciano Line Napoleon, another son of Matteo Rosso the Great, received Bracciano, Nerola and other lands in what is now northern Lazio. In 1259 he was senator of Rome. Thanks to the strategic positions of their fiefs, and to their famous castle built in Bracciano in 1426, they were the most powerful Orsini line in the Lazio. Count Carlo, son of another Napoleon, was papal gonfalonier. Yeah. By his marriage with a Francesca Orsini of Monterotondo was born Gentile Virginia Orsini, one of the most prominent figures of Italian politics in the late 15th century. After Carlo's death, he enlarged the family's tenure with lands inherited by his wife, another Orsini from Salerno, and most of all he was amongst the favourites of Ferdinand I of Naples, who appointed him as Great Constable of Naples. Together with his cousin, the Cardinal Giovanni Battista, he was among the fiercest opponents of Popes Innocent VIII and Alexander VI. In 1492 Gentile Virginia bought the county of Anguillara from Francesco Sibor. During Charles VIII of France's descent into Italy, he managed to keep Bracciano. Ferdinand II had his fiefs confiscated and imprisoned him in Castel de Lovo, where he was poisoned in 1497. The family recovered this setback under the more friendly Medici popes of the early 16th century. His son Gian Giordano was prince assistant to the papal throne. His nephew Virginio was a famous admiral for the papal states and France, but in 1539 he had his fiefs confiscated under the charge of treason. Paolo Giordano was created first Duke of Bracciano in 1560. The son of Girolamo Orsini and Francesca S. Forza, he was grandson, on his father's side, of Felice della Rivera and Gian Giordano Orsini and, on his mother's side, of Count Bosio S. Forza and Costanza Farnes, an illegitimate daughter of Pope Paul III. An accomplished condottiero, he was however also a ruthless figure who had his wife Isabella de Medici murdered. For this and other homicides he had to flee to northern Italy. He was succeeded by Virginio, whose heir Paolo Giordano II married the princess of Piombino and was created prince of the Holy Roman Empire. His brother Alessandro was cardinal and papal legate, and another brother, Ferdinando, acquired the assets of the other line of San Gemini. In the 17th century the Dukes of Bracciano moved their residence to Rome. This, along with a general economical decadence, damaged the dukedom, and last duke and prince. Flavio was forced by the huge debts to sell it to Livia Odescalci. Gravina Line the line of Gravina, from the name of the eponymous city in Apulia, is the only existing line of the Orsini. It descends from Francesco, a son of Count Carlo of Bracciano. Most of his fief were located in northern Lazio, but he entered in the Neapolitan orbit when in 1418 he was called by Sergiani Cariacolo to fight against the Angevin troops, which he defeated. By marriage, he obtained the title of Count of Gravina. He was made Duke of Gravina by King Alfonso, title definitely assigned to his son Giacomo, to which had been added the counties of Conversano, Campania and Copertino. Two of Francesco's son, Marino and Giovanni Battista, were respectively Archbishop of Taranto and Grand Master of Knights of Rhodes. The fourth Duke, Francesco, was part of a conspiracy along with his brothers Giulio and Paolo against Cesare Borgia, but were found out and Francesco was strangled too. 
death in 18th of January 1503 along with his brother Paolo, one of Francesco's nephews, Flavio Orsini, was created cardinal in 1565. The fifth duke, Ferdinando had all his fiefs confiscated by the Spaniards but regained it after a 40,000 scudi payment. After the airless death of Duke Michel Antonio, his lands passed to his cousin Pietro Orsini, Count of Moro Lucano. The latter's nephew Pier Francesco, who had renounced the succession in favor of his brother Domenico to become a Dominican, was later elected pope with the name of Benedict XIII. His successor raised Benedict XIII's nephew, Prince Berualdo Orsini, to the dignity of prince assistance to the papal throne. After the Emperor Charles VI had already, in 1724, made him a prince of the Holy Roman Empire, the last cardinal from the family was Domenico. The family moved to Rome in the 18th century, where Duke Domenico married Maria Luisa Torlonia in 1823. In 1850 he was Minister of War and General Lieutenant of the Papal Armies, and, also, Senator of Rome. The remaining princely family is represented by Prince Domenico Napoleon Orsini, Duke of Gravina. With no sons or male line descendants, the heir to the dukedom of Gravina is his unmarried brother Don Benedetto Orsini, followed by his cousin Prince Raimondo Orsini d'Aragona, Orsini Rosenberg. An Austrian princely family, the Rosenbergs, changed its name to Ursini Rosenberg in 1683, while creating spurious claims of kinship to the Orsini, who were regarded at the time as more prestigious. No convincing evidence of the link was ever produced, and many researchers consider it fictional. Notable buildings Apart from the Bracciano Castle, other notable buildings and structures associated with the Orsini include the so-called Park of the Monsters just outside the city of Beaumarzo is a late Renaissance manieristic garden gallery of sculptures and architecture, commissioned in the 16th century by Vicino Orsini. It includes also a palace, designed by Baldassara Peruzzi, begun in 1525 by Gian Corrado Orsini and finished by his son Vicino. The Orsini Palace in Rome, including the Theatre of Marcellus, Palazzo Orsini, Pio Righetti, also in Rome, Orsini, Castles in Avezzano near La Pitigliano Santi Angelo Romano Serrano Soriano Nel Cimino Varsanello